Hi, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Welcome to my channel. If you think you're going to enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. This is an episode of Everyday Chateau, so that means it's myself and my six children and my husband. And in this episode, we are walking you through a day in the life in March. And so that means we are shelter in place. That's right. We are holed up here in Wisconsin. I'm assuming you are too. I hope you and your family are well and that you're healthy and you're staying positive and encouraged. This is my day in the life. So many of us are feeling a bit extra stress right now, and I, I think it's even coming out in our children. Our little guy grabbed some time with us last night in bed. He snuck in, and he snuggled hard, <laughs> and so I slept poorly, and I had the day carved out for quite a bit of desk time today. Today was a big work day for me, and so the gym isn't open because nothing is open. And so I started the day in my new space, my new office, which is no longer in my greenhouse, but it's right off the bedroom. Made a big French press of coffee and dove into emails and some podcast work, uh, some doTERRA work, but really the podcast right now is very energizing to me. You know, we're all going through this together and I find the podcast this amazing source of entertainment and communication and it's been really fun. Juju always gets up, you've seen that. And then Junior, and they're so sweet in the morning. It's so precious. And my time at my desk is fast. It goes by fast and then it's breakfast and Everyone is ready for mom. This morning, uh, we kept it pretty simple. A lot more simple than a lot of other days. This was just about basic oatmeal and getting the day started because we we were running behind, let's face it. I don't know about you, but I've been staying up really late with all of this and everybody's been sleeping a bit later than they usually do. We're just sort of off. We're trying to maintain, but we're just sort of off. I think everybody is. I'm trying to keep everyone extremely healthy. So, you know, I'm an oiler, so I'm using my DDR Prime and my On Guard and I'm giving the kids their supplements and vitamins every day, twice a day. Uh, not as a cure, but just to keep our immune systems in top form. And I'm trying to keep the kids on task with their chores, keep the house tidy. I don't know, even though we're a full-time family, it's just, um, it's just been different. And I think everybody's really just trying to keep their spirits up and time is moving slowly. The days sort of bleed into one another, so I'm trying to keep things pretty. I'm trying to keep our routine as normal as possible. Right before all of this went down, I bought a bunch of houseplants, and I think just the greenery on these dull gray days is really helping. to this I don't know how to act don't know how to adapt to this situation not used to this no I'm not I better let myself give in to love believe in us no matter what it does to my heart 
I'm not used to this. I'm not used to thinking about extended family and being worried about them every day and wondering about my community and my children's well-being. I think our hearts are really burdened right now. A superficial response to that is just to keep maintaining. And so I am. I'm trying to maintain myself and get dressed every day. And still do my makeup as a mom because that's something I've I've always done. And I gotta tell you, today I was so annoyed because the kids took a bubble bath last night and I didn't realize that they had used all of the shampoo. So my hair was so greasy. This was my shampoo day and look at it, it's so gross. It's so bad. So praise the Lord for dry shampoo. And when we finally have to run to the store, I'm going to get some shampoo because the rest is in my locker at the gym, but that's closed. So I'm sort of vexed at every turn and really happy to be having my short hair right now and very thankful for whatever is left in the bottle of dry shampoo. I'm rocking my reds because that makes me feel good. And emotionally, I'm like everyone else, just trying to be positive and stay on top of it. If that means red lipstick, then so be it. I'm getting dressed every day. An apron, my favorite new pair of shoes. Shoes make me feel good, so I'm wearing my favorite shoes around the house. And now it's time for the day. Poor Big Daddy, we are self-employed and Parisian Farm Girl has so many different legs from doTERRA to Amazon to book sales. It's just, there's so many different aspects of what I do under the umbrella of my brand. And so Joel is doing taxes. It's just gonna be one day off of work, Ange. Are you so excited? I hope. No, is there any way you can look through the windows? I don't know. So. This is kind of important. Everybody from the top on down needs extra hugs and kisses right now. And so Junior was still pretty emotional from last night. I, I'm assuming he didn't sleep well with us either. And so he got to bake bread with mom this morning. I know there's a lot of moms out there right now and we're all really cognizant of just taking this time and making the best of it. These are precious moments. No matter what's going on outside of our four walls, we've we've got this time with each other and I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can to just set aside any fears and emotions that I have, any uncertainty, and just lean into family, lean into this time together. Kids are carrying on with school, and I think that's good for them, that continuity. I know they miss their friends desperately, 
that they're carrying on. We, we homeschool anyways, so we're home all the time anyways, but the kids do have a pretty active social life and I'm trying to keep everything else as normal as possible for them. I'm trying to spend time with them, extra time going over their studies, just making sure everybody gets plenty of hugs and kisses. It makes me feel good too. extremely intentional with the family's diet. We try to eat as local as we can, as organic, very little sugars. We take our essential oils, we take our supplements. Uh, we try to eat really healthy. And so everybody's just drinking a lot of bone broth right now, a lot of kombucha, everyone's on their game. Absolutely no sugar in our diet. I do think we need to do what we can, be really intentional, and calm down. is a wine run an essential part of our day. I was just going to ask you that a minute ago. Like, aren't, can't you say you're going to go out and Isn't that considered dock up? Essential? Uh, liquor stores <laughs> are considered essential. <laughs> They're not closing those. Somebody just told me that on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. because. Because. Stop! Just because. because hey, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, just because. Because people are going to. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> stop! But you guys oh, there you go. Because, because yeah, people are going to need it more than ever. <laughs> bubbles. bubbles and bubbles. Hey, want to stop for a second? Sure. Here, watch. Watch this. 
That's why I had to stop the camera. That's she why you had to stop the camera. So I quit, quit promoting this company that I used to work yeah, for. Tax preparation tip 2020. Stop buying alcohol and coffee and pay an accountant to do everything for you. That way you don't have to do this at the end of the year or the beginning of the year. I have a tax preparation tip. Mm, what's that? Do a little bit every month. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So I did it, I had to get out of the house. There is a queen size box spring in the hallway upstairs. There's dust bunnies on the stairway. Dinner is in the oven. There are two by fours in my bedroom and plastic hanging from the ceiling. Saws, paint buckets, five gallon buckets full of screws and oh, it's just, uh, it's getting to me a little bit. Uh, you know, we're all, the shelter in place thing isn't really that different to my normal life because we're all home all the time anyways but for some reason it feels a little bit different and i don't know if that's just because joel and i aren't really getting out you know we're doing our we're not doing our normal thing where we go grab a latte or just get a little time away or well i will you know once a week just run into an antique store or a thrift shop just to do something it is just very quiet around here. Door County is typically very quiet uh, before the tourist season starts, but I've only passed a couple a couple vehicles on the way in. For my very precious bottle of wine, I'm going to enjoy a glass of wine tonight. And when I felt all this coming down a few weeks ago, I ordered some new books off of Thrift Books. So I'm just going to dive into some good Monty Don books and some other gardening books and some new cookbooks and just um, hunker down. It's been a big day and I don't know why. Maybe I'm hormonal. I don't know. It's just gray. Can you see the sky? It's just gray and gloomy and I really think we need the sun to shine. I think that would really, really help. But we have a few more weeks of this shelter in place bit and um, kind of worry about my kids I mean I know people have gone through a lot worse don't get me wrong it's not that I want to portray a lack of fortitude it's just they're home all the time anyways and there are a couple friends that they have Ooh, I'm on a bumpy road <laughs> my, my iPhone is sitting on the dashboard uh, you know their couple friends that they have up here are very, very precious. And they're really missing that interaction a lot. So I think if the sun shines tomorrow and this drizzly rain stops, that they need to go for a walk with their six feet between them or whatever they need to do. But, you know, you just, I think this is showing a lot of people how much we need each other and that, uh, you know, I'm very, very grateful for social media. Um, boy, they need to repave my road. But it's just not quite the same. I miss church. I miss that fellowship. This is a very interesting, very interesting time. And I think I'm mildly comforted by knowing that most of you guys are going through it with me. So forward to a hot meal. So, Homemaker Chic, my new podcast, can we just talk about that for a second? It is such a new part of joy in my life. I'm all about the joie de vivre, and I gotta tell ya, I don't know why it took Shay and I so long to come up with our new podcast, but it's here, and it's killing it. And it's been such a pleasure to me. And so I recorded a new episode with her and then made my way out to the garden. There's not much to do, it was pretty cold, but there's always rocks to straighten and things to organize after the snow. Somehow everything mysteriously moves underneath the snow. I don't get it. And what also moved underneath the snow, and I might cry, is new life. And 
life is always going to press forward. And these two little snowdrops that I found in my weed patch just reminded me so we can make our way through this and life is beautiful. Look at them. Look at my family. We're setting a good example for community. Look at your family. King of glory, divine majesty. Every perfection adorns thy nature and sustains thy throne. The heavens and earth are thine. The world is thine in its fullness. Thy power created the universe from nothing. Thy wisdom has managed all its multiple concerns, presiding over nations, families, individuals. Thy goodness is boundless. All creatures wait on thee, are supplied by thee, are satisfied in thee. How precious are the thoughts of thy mercy and grace. How excellent thy loving kindness that draws men to thee. Teach us to place our happiness in thee, the blessed God. Never seeking life among the dead things of earth, or asking for that which satisfies the deluded, but may we prize the light of thy smile, implore the joy of thy salvation, find our heaven in thee. Thou hast attended to our happiness more than we can do. Though we are fallen creatures, thou hast not neglected us. In love and pity, thou hast provided us a savior. Apply his redemption to our hearts by justifying our persons and sanctifying our natures. We confess our transgressions, have mercy on us. We are weary, give us rest. Ignorant, make us wise unto salvation. Helpless, let thy strength be made perfect in our weakness. Poor and needy, bless us with Christ's unsearchable riches. Perplexed and tempted, let us travel on unchecked, undismayed, knowing that thou hast said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Blessed be thy name. Amen. Amen. So if I'm stuck in my house for the next few weeks or even the next month, whatever, with these people, with the seven people on the planet that I love the most, and I'm, I'm sure you're stuck in your house with people that you love the most, then so be it. And I'm going to carry on and I'm going to make memories and everything will be okay. I closed my day. <laughs> It's not very romantic. I closed my day working. This was a big work day for me and I knew I would be back and forth to my computer. I knew I would get the kids settled in for the evening with their favorite hobbies and that I would be back doing what I needed to do. Aiden wants to be a pilot and so he wanted to practice with his simulator and I love seeing him learn this something I have no idea about. Amelie went to her room with her keyboard and decided to work on some of her competition pieces. I love seeing how diligent she is. She's amazing. And the kids have new bedrooms, so they decided to play peluche, which is what we call stuffed animals, uh, upstairs. And just seeing their innocence and how they're not thinking about all this made me so happy. And I crept into Junior's room. His daddy fell asleep tucking him in. I think he's as tired as I am. I crept into Junior's room with my iPhone and filmed his beautiful face as he fell asleep and I was just arrested with how blessed I am. No matter what, we're so blessed. We have so much to be grateful for. And that's what I'm walking away from March with. I'm not gonna walk away with fear. I'm going to walk away with a cup that's overflowing. It's crooked, just so you know. Cameras. I need a new tripod. Thank it's you. garbage.
you know, where the junk drawer is, man. Over by where your uh, The only reason we funny. have a junk drawer is because you won't keep things organized like I try to. You can't put that on YouTube. Well, that's for you to keep now special. Now I have to edit that out. Which just, drawer? Just go. I just need a battery. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. I hope you and your family are healthy and well. And I know you're stuck home, so you should stick around, Parisian Farm Girl, and you should watch this video here and then this video here and just binge watch to your heart's delight. Of course, you can follow me over on Instagram. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. A bientôt.